we came to the how we apply the rock. Okay. I want to insist since the beginning now that the most important is how the substrate is and how we prepare the substrate. Not only with unapplied systems, you, we will see later on with the uh, polyurea spray applied uh, products that the super preparation is the most important. So you have a good support, you prepare well, 95% of the job is done. If the support really is not well prepared, you're not in good conditions, you can put the best product in the world that sooner or later you will get some problems. Okay, okay how to prepare? Uh, this presentation, which uh, I wanted, if it's uh, later on, you can pass through all the people and then you can read more in detail. But here, what I can do is to show you in details and pictures what it means support preparation. Okay? Uh, at the end, this is typical detailed work that you can find uh, in, in many jobs. Okay? Uh, first of all, concrete needs to be cured. Okay? If it's not cured, we have some solution that we will see later, but we strongly recommend that if it's 28 days, if it's คอนกรีตจะต้องให้แห้งนะคะยี่สิบแปดวันนะคะคือถ้ามันไม่แห้งเนี่ยมันจะมีความชื้นอยู่ในสะสมอยู่ในคอนกรีตค่ะแล้ว
หนึ่งเลยก็คือหน้าง,งานก็ไม่ค่อยยอมรับด้วยเพราะว่าจ้างเรามาทำวัตถุแล้วหน้าง,งานก็ยังเป็นขุขาแบบนี้อยู่มันก็ไม่โอเคและอันที่สองก็คือเรื่องของการลีกมันมีโอกาสที่วอเตอร์จะลีกได้ค่ะมันมีโอกาสรั่วสูงสูงมาก for metal this is for concrete for metal super preparation basically it's we really we recommend to to clean with some acetone just to eliminate the grease or all <coughs> other oils that are keep it on top acetone yeah acetone sometimes is it's like a c o r i c alcohol right it's a solvent yeah yeah, yeah. the acetone advantage is that it's uh, evaporate very fast So you clean quite well for the metal, and it evaporates very fast. Any other case, if it's clean, it's clean. If it's not clean, acetone with a roller uh, or cleaning, it's a it's a good method, okay? Because it cleans well, and then all the oils are, are uh, removed. ค่ะสำหรับเมทัลลูฟนะคะหรือว่าเป็นเมทัลชีสหรือเมทัลลูฟนะคะให้ใช้พวกที่เป็นอะซิทอนนะคะหรือว่าเป็นพวกที่เป็นแอลกแอลกอฮอล์ในการทําความสะอาดขจัดพวกน้ํามันบนผิวหน้าออกค่ะ And in three, four minutes, uh, it's evaporated, so it's really fast. Okay. Then for ceramic tiles, uh, then we can go in, in details, but I think we will go after later on. Uh, which primer we recommend for ceramic? Which primer we recommend for metal? Which primer for concrete? So we have different solutions, even for the question of of this man that ask about humidity. We have a product that we will see a video that even with a 96, 98% humidity, you can work. การเรียนพื้นสิวสําคัญนะคะแล้วก็ตัวพราเมอร์ของเทคโนโพลเนี่ยเรามีพราเมอร์หลายประเภทมากนะคะเริ่มตั้งแต่สามารถที่จะใช้มอยเจอร์ในคอนกรีตนะคะได้ตั้งแต่4เปอร์เซ็นต์แปดเปอร์เซ็นต์สิบไปจนถึง98เปอร์เซ็นต์หรือว่าฝนตกเปียกแล้วต้องทํากันจึงเลยอย่างเงี้ยค่ะเรามีตัวพราเมอร์ที่สามารถที่จะใช้ได้ทุกทุกซับสเตรทค่ะหรือแม้กระทั่งที่เป็นกระเบื้องนะคะหรือว่าบิทูเมนเก่านะคะหรือว่าเป็นโพลิเทนเก่าเป็นอะคริลิกเก่าหรือว่าเป็นค่ะเป็นเมทัลชีตก็ได้ค่ะ Here we make a short table explaining how super can be prepared. It depends if it's concrete, as we saw, epoxy primer, plus calcium carbonate or silica sand. If you have in metal, okay, you clean with the thinner, and then for ceramics, for example, the same system of primer, light sanding. It depends which is the different <coughs> substrate type. I want to. Introduce an asbestos. I don't know here asbestos. It's a, it's a problem also, but in Europe it's a big problem. And, and uh, the most common way to uh, repair or, or encapsulate it, the asbestos is uh, with a spray foam. It's very common in, in uh, East uh, Europe. Spray foam, and then we cover with polyurea or we cover with uh, hand applied to the membrane. Primer range. <coughs> Let's see if okay. I I will let's go back. Okay. okay, the primer is necessary in in any substrate. We strongly recommend primer, uh, even if it's concrete, even if it's uh, in metal, ceramics, whatever. Primer is strongly recommend to be sure and ensure about the best addition that uh, you can find with existing surface. Also, it helps a lot to uh, seal in in, in polymer membranes. It's not as necessary as in polyurea, but in polyurea, if you don't put primer one or even two coats, the pink hole can appear very easily. Pink hole is air which is in the concrete basically, and this air need to go out. Then if there is, if you don't seal first the concrete, this air appear, and then you see small holes on the polyurea application. That probably KL, uh, I know that uh, people uh, about this. Then about the primers we have. Uh, I want to introduce now the range. We have epoxy range of primers and polyurethane range of primers. Uh, in the epoxy range, we have different types, which means 100% solids, epoxy, uh, water-based uh, primers. On the 100% solids, it's probably the most familiar you are here in the region, as I heard, which uh, I don't want to go into, but it's A and B. Hardener and epoxy, you mix it together in different radius, <coughs> one, two, two, Two to three, one to three, one to four. Okay, uh, ratio uh, here. Probably you are used to work with epoxy, 100% solids, even filler it. Okay, with some fillers inside to reduce the cost. But the properties that you get of addition are uh, exactly the same. Then on the PU we have two types, which is one component and two component PU primers. 
and after we will see the difference on on this brightness. I don't. I want to go a little bit. Okay, here, basically, the primer allows addition, avoid condensation in some cases, and help to prepare the support in some of the cases as a preparation to fill the cracks as we saw it before. You want to introduce something, meaning, or is it yes. Finally, this is the range. <laughs> It's a quite long presentation, so I try to skip some of the slides. Okay, P1000. Very interesting. Uh, one component, single component, easy to apply, fast drying. You can use it for concrete, but only in concrete for the one component view membrane. For Luria, we will see after that it's not the best. And it's also very useful for polyurea business. For the polyurea, why? Because this primer makes a bonding between one coat to other coat that you apply next day in two days of polyurea. That is a product that needs to be primer between one coat to the other just to avoid the lamination. Not in the decimal coat. You can apply today, continue tomorrow, after one week, that is not a problem. View 1050. Uh, this is 100% solids, polyurethane, two components, concrete. PUC, forget it about that. This is the same product as PU 1050, but when you are in a very cold countries, at zero degrees, minus five degrees, it's curing very fast also, it's the same as catalyst for these countries, but here, no sense. Epoxy water base, 1070. This is very, very standard product water base. You can use it in many of the uh, substrates. You can use it in concrete, you can use it in ceramic. It's very easy to, to, to work with. The only disadvantage, he has a good addition of every substrate, but the only disadvantage is that it's a bit slower on curing. It takes five to six hours. Pure 1050 in one and a half hour, two hours, ready to do the job. Okay. EP1020 is the epoxy 100% primer, more universal. It's very similar to the one you are probably used in the, at least Southeast Asia, as, uh, as I saw. EP1040, it's same concept, but especially designed for metal. This primer in metal doesn't work. 1040 works very well. So it's epoxy, 100% solids for metal. And then primer web, which is the new in the family. This is the primer you can use for very humidity substrates with a very wet conditions. You can apply even, we do, we do test on third parties even at 98% humidity. โอเคค่ะสําหรับตัวพลัมเมอร์นะคะตัวพลัมเมอร์ <coughs> ตัวพลัมเมอร์พันธุ์ห้าสิบนะคะหนึ่งศูนย์ห้าศูนย์เนี่ยเป็นตัวทูพาร์ทนะคะตัวที่ขายดีที่สุดนะคะในของเราเน
Let's go to one of the charts. Uh, I like. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, แล้วก็จะมีรุ่น10ศูนย์เอ่อทอทีนะคะ10ศูนย์4ศูนย์สำหรับ metal นะคะแล้วก็จะมีรุ่นเอ่อสำหรับ hammer weight คือเป็น substrate ที่เป็น concrete สมมตินะคะที่โดนความชื้นจากเอ่อฝนตกอย่างเงี้ยค่ะสามารถใช้ได้เป็น hammer weight เป็น epoxy base นะคะอย่างสมมุตินะคะมีคําถามหลายๆคําถามเลยว่าเออสมมุติในแท้งน้ําของเราในโครงการของเราเนี่ยบางพื้นที่มันเปียกบางพื้นที่ไม่เปียกเราก็ทาเฉพาะตรงบนบริเวณที่เปียกเป็นพัมเมอร์เวนส่วนพื้นที่ที่ไม่เปียกและความชื้นเราวัดแล้วอยู่ที่ประมาณ 4-5 เราก็ใช้รุ่น1050อย่างนี้เป็นต้นค่ะถ้าเกิดใช้ในหอน้ำดึกมีนะใช้ในหอน้ำดึกใช้ได้ค่ะค่ะแต่โพลิยูรีเทนใช้ในระบอนดึกไม่ได้นะคะต้องใช้เป็นโพลิยูเรียพอดียูเรียเป็นนอนท็อกซิกค่ะมีตัวนี้ที่เป็น drinking water ดีดีอ๋ค่ะ have a question about the okay the question is a poly this thing is a primer and they have a project like potable water drinkable water then for example the primer which one we have to use and do we have a d e s o p o r DW right yes. then we can use which primer yes that the non toxic good question yeah. uh, first we have to look at I understand is this concrete right mm -hmm. it's concrete uh, so 1050 then it's 1050 ก็คือเราดูพื้นเดิมก่อนนะพื้นเดิมเป็นรุ่นเป็นคอนกรีตก็ใช้รุ่น1050พรามเมื่อนี้เราดูพื้นเดิมอย่างเดียวค่ะพื้นซับเซตเดิมว่าเป็นอะไรเราใช้ตัวนั้นส่วนไอตัวตรงกลางนะคะที่เป็นโพลิยูเรียหรือโพลิยูเทนนี่คือเราเราเลือกเองเมื่อกี้ก็ให้ดูใช่ไหมคะโพลิยูเรียกับโพลิยูเทนมันต่างกันอะไรบ้างมันต่างกันที่เทนทรายมันต่างหลายอย่างนะคะแต่โดยเบสแล้วเนี่ยโพลิยูเรียโพลิยูเรียเนี่ยมีความแข็งแรงมากกว่าโพลิยูเทนนะคะแข็งแรงมากกว่ามากแล้วเดี๋ยวถ้าเกิดใครอยากได้ข้อมูลเดี๋ยวมีค่อยเอาคอมเพลให้ก็ได้ค่ะโอเคดี this is the little bit all the primers then with humidity to your question about humidity Basically, all the primers are between five to ten percent. This is the most standard. Uh, it's of course in the conservative way because uh, we know that the U ten fifty we can go until ten percent, but we say five eight percent is the is the maximum. Then we have this primer well that you can use it up to ninety eight percent. Okay. This is some examples of primer, some jobs that. Uh, Here we're to show you this primer wet video.
Okay, uh, how to apply the decimal ball, the one component pure membrane? Uh, we will sort it out, but basically the application is two. Traditional application, roll applied, one bolt, one millimeter, necessary one day, one bolt, next day, second bolt. Single bolt application, mixing decimal plus, the one I like. Uh, one bolt today, one and a half hour, two hours drive, job done. Okay, and then you can do the thing as you, you want. And then you have also with hydrolytic equipment that you can use it uh, to apply. On the IRS equipment application, you can use it both, but I strongly recommend to use only Desmopol without Desmopol because if not, the reaction can be so fast. And if the people don't clean fast the machine, after half an hour, one hour, the machine is completely blocked, so you cannot uh, use anymore. ค่ะการใช้เดสโมโฟนะคะสามารถใช้ได้ 3 เอ่อมันก็จะมีความความความข้นลดลงสามารถที่จะใช้เป็นสเปรย์ได้นะคะใช้ได้ 3 แบบนะคะทา So uh, by course we say it's a open mix applied after 6 7 hours uh, will be dry depending on humidity and the temperature as much humidity as much temperature fast days ค่ะการแห้งนะคะใช้เวลาแห้ง 5 ถึง 6 ชั่วโมงนะคะการแห้งเร็วเนี่ยขึ้นอยู่กับฮิวมิดิตี้ในอากาศค่ะความชื้นในอากาศบ้านเราก็ก็เร็วนะคะฮิวมิดิตี้อ
application. My ILS is with the ILS machine. Uh, typical, maybe you are familiar with that. So need to be. I know in Greco was uh, Mark V, the model ILS uh, necessary. But in the TDS, you can find the, the exactly what uh, you need. Then, as we talk uh, in the beginning, uh, aromatic and aliphatic is something that uh, you must be familiar. Uh, of course, after you apply the one component pure membrane, the esmopol or even polyurea after you will see, you need to apply, if it's exposed, a top coat. If it's not exposed, job is done. But if we expose you know, in a rooftop, you need to apply the top coats. As the top coats, we have two options, basically. One component and two component. The two component uh, has much better properties in terms of traffic, in terms of walkability, etc. The thing is that uh, it's a bit more expensive, and it's two component, which is also sometimes more difficult to, 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 to do the jobs, and if you don't need uh, to use the 20, 25 kg team for the small jobs. Then we have the single component, which is very easy to do it, and has a very big advantage compared to the two components. This one component we develop, basically to protect in a single coat, it's very cost effective. Only 50 to 80 grams per square meter is necessary. You can buy in any roll color, gray, red, white, and standard colors, and the big advantage is it dries in five minutes. So you apply, five minutes it's dry. So this is really fast, to do the job. So after the desmo pole, it's applied. If it's a rooftop, that, that there will be no traffic, no people walking, etc. One component is quite good product to apply. Leave it there, one coat, even two coats, but in five minutes, product is right. Then we have the 2CP, which is the one we use together with the pole rear for pools, swimming pools, aquatic parks, etc. in contact with water. <laughs> สำหรับท็อปโค้ดนะคะที่เป็นอะลิฟติกนะคะท็อปโค้ดจะเป็นอะลิฟติกเดสมาโพจะเป็นอะโลมาติกเดสมาโพต้องการอะลิฟติกมาทับหน้านะคะต้องการท็อปโค้ดมาทับหน้าท็อปโค้ดจะมีด้วยกัน3แบบนะคะท็อปโค้ดแบบที่1ก็คือเทคโนโลท็อปวันซีเป็นวันคอมโพเนนต์ค่ะเปิดถังมาเขย่าก่อนเปิดถังมาแล้วก็ใช้ได้เลยจุดดีก็คือสามารถแห้งเร็วค่ะแห้งภายใน5วินาทีค่ะก็คือ5นาที5 m i n u t e ห้าเท่าเทียมจำได้ปูริยูเรียใช้ประมาณ5นาทีนะแห้งเร็วมากนะคะตัวตัวท็อปโค้ดวันซีค่ะแล้วก็คอนซัมชันในการใช้นี่ก็ใช้น้อยมากๆใช้ประมาณ80กรัมนะคะต่อตารางเมตรนะคะก็เหมาะสำหรับพวกไลท์แทฟฟิกงานไลท์แทฟฟิกใช้วันซีนะคะส่วนที่เป็นเทคโนโลยีท็อปทูซีเนี่ยก็คือเป็นเป็นทูคอมเพนเนนต์นะคะเป็นแทฟฟิกเคเบิลเกรดค่ะสำหรับงานที่สามารถจะขับรถบนลานจอดข้างบนลานจอดเครื่องบินอะไรเงี้ยได้ค่ะก็สําหรับ 2C นะคะแล้วก็ 2CP นี่คือสําหรับสระว่ายน้ำค่ะเป็น 2P เหมือนกันค่ะ Okay then we have <coughs> uh, anti skid in case you need it uh, anti skid uh, application and this b e r i e we have you can do it with silica sand basically that is probably the, the one you are more used and then I want to introduce the techno plastic which is a the small microplastics that add, combine it with the top coat, make an anti-skid surface with different grades. You will see now in a video that is coming, and after the video, uh, five minutes more, and then we have the coffee break. So in 10 minutes, we will do the first coffee break. สมมติเราต้องการทําผิวหน้าให้เป็นแอนตี้สกิดนะคะเราสามารถใช้ได้2แบบค่ะแบบแรกก็คือใช้ทรายธรรมชาตินะคะก็คือพอเราทําตัวท็อปโค้ดเสร็จแล้วเราใช้สเปรย์ทรายลงไปโปรยทรายลงไปนะคะเสร็จแล้วเราก็ทําท็อปโค้ดอีกรอบหนึ่งเป็นเวทออนเวทนะคะแบบที่2คือเป็นแบบทรายที่เป็นทรายอะทิฟิเชียลที่เป็นแบบทรายเทียมที่จากโรงงานขายนะคะก็คือเอาทรายตัวนี้ค่ะที่เป็นทรายเทียมเนี่ยใส่ลงไปในท็อปโค้ดผสมแล้วก็ทาลงไปทีเดียวจบก็จะแตกต่างกันแค่นี้เองถ้าใช้ชายธรรมชาติก็คือเวทออนเวทถ้าใช้ทรายที่เป็นจากโรงงานขายก็คือ Techno plastic, we have different grades, F, C, and C plus. I don't know if you will explain it because Thai still don't understand. Sizing of the tool that the shop sells, okay, is that it has a size of many sizes, okay, and it is very large, and it has a size of natural. Which one is C plus? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so it is used for the shop, okay. 
C plus is about uh, uh, is about natural silica sand. Yeah, it's more silica sand. Yeah, C plus. Yeah. 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 So now I want to introduce a video uh, for the Technotop 1C, which is the one. Desmopol is a high-performance liquid waterproofing system for flat roof, balconies, terraces, swimming pools, and many other surfaces liable to be in contact with water. Using it is very simple. First of all, open Desmopol drum by pulling the tabs with a nipper and stir thoroughly before adding the accelerator. Desmo Plus Accelerator comes in pre-measured tins of 2 litres for the 25 kilogram Desmopol drums and 500 milliliters for the 6 kilogram tins. If you are not going to use the full tin, make sure you mix the correct ratio. 110 milliliters per litre of Desmopol. Mix the accelerator fully into the Desmopol on a low speed mixer and after a couple of minutes, the accelerator will be completely blended with Desmopol. Now you have 20 to 25 minutes pot life. Apply the accelerated Desmopol to the surface. Then dry roll Technoband into the membrane until it is drawn through and spread another coat of the product, ensuring the matting is fully embedded. After a couple of minutes, the matting softens considerably and can be rolled tight into any detail to achieve a neat professional finish. Repeat this process on all relevant areas, considering that joints must be lapped 50 mm each side and on any change of material, and trims should also be lapped 50 mm on the board and 50 mm on the trim, covering the fixing. Outlets and other detail work must be treated in the same way by using matting embedded in a coat of Desmopol as previous. 100 mm matting is also used in the same way around the outlet for extra support. Once the joint areas are fully dry, accelerated Desmopol can be applied to the main surface in one or more layers using a 9 inch solvent resistant roller. If applying in more than one layer, each layer must be fully cured before applying the next. As it's naturally self-leveling, it does not need to be overworked. This provides more control over the thickness, which needs to be a minimum of 1.4 mm thick, or a coverage rate of 1.5 to 2 kg per square meter. Accelerated Desmopole will be touch dry in approximately 40 to 50 minutes and ready for top coat in a couple of hours.
If the surface you want to cover is pitched or even vertical, you can mix Desmotix and Desmopol to take the self-leveling element out of the product and avoid runs or drops. Desmotix is available in 1 litre tins and usually 250 millilitres of Desmotix per 25 kilogram drum is enough to reach the desired consistency. Desmotix also allows Desmopol to be applied in box gutters with matting in a wet-on-wet -wet system. Accelerator can still be used with Desmotix. You just have to add this first to Desmopol before adding the Desmotix. Once again, this speeds up the drying process considerably and only gives around 25 minutes of pot life. The use of Technotop 2C top coat is recommended for trafficable areas or to increase UV stability and the guarantee by five years. It must be applied no later than 48 hours onto the fully cured Desmopol. To simplify its use, Technotop 2C is pre-measured in 1 NO 4.3 litre tin part A and 1 NO 0.7 litre tin part B. Both tins can be mixed together fully and applied at a coverage rate of 150 grams per square meter will cover around 25 square meters. If you need to apply a smaller amount, the mixing ratio is 6 part A to 1 part B. For car parks and high traffic areas, two layers of Technotop 2C must be applied. Once applied to the Desmopol, it will dry in approximately one to two hours, depending on the weather and the pot life of the mixed product is approximately six hours. For balconies and walkways, anti-skid finishes can be applied to the Technotop 2C. Depending on the desired level of anti-skid required, silica sand or mineral clippings can be added to the Technotop 2C while still wet, allowing the top coat to dry before sweeping the loose chippings off. The masking tape must be removed immediately after the anti-skid has been applied. For an encapsulated finer anti-skid, you can add Technoplastic to the mixed Technotop 2C at a 10 to 15% ratio. Even this plastic bead does not sink to the bottom of the mixed tin. When applying the top coat with a roller, it leaves a finer anti-skid encapsulated in the Technotop 2C that is ideal for balcony areas where people will be walking barefoot. I can manage in other words. Yeah, here, this was the top coat. Okay, this is the details. Uh, cracks and fissures. We, we talked before how primer with uh, silica sand can be combined, the mastic peel, then uh, system, it's primer, how we use Technoban. On the drains, for example, we recommend to use reinforce this part with the band, prima membrane, and the top coat. Okay. These are different details in the dilatation joint, for example, here. Expansive joint. Yeah. Expansive joint. Yeah. Yeah. You can probably explain better in time. And then this, we put here the Technoban. We put this hypalon or, or mastic, or I don't know which is more common here. Then we go on top with the uh, band, we call techno band, util band, and then you go on top of the, with the membrane. Expand the joint, we use the polyurethane first. And if you need to protect the joint, you can use the techno band. It's a tape of our joint. Okay, this is different cases, so you can go in deep on details uh, when we send to all of you this presentation. How we do when it is mortar ceramic tiles, we recommend to go always on top, on top of the waterproofing in all cases. And then some of the projects, well first is yeah, systems. Here I don't want to go all in detail, just to give you an overview that polyurea or desmopole, so technocode and desmopole products can be applied in all kind of uh, <laughs> in all, in all kinds of uh, types of roofs. Here we have, for example, 
flat roof, we have the green roofs, then we have renovation, we have also transparent, or even renovation work, on the question where you use, okay, it's explained. Inverted roof, okay, which is very common in Europe, concrete, it's, uh, concrete here, uh, sorry, concrete form, uh, decimal pole and output, and traditional roofings. Uh, it's yeah, inverted. most common is, uh, here is a roof deck, Exposed roof deck. Okay, okay. No, in Europe it's uh, inverted. We say it's concrete, then we put the waterproofing, then we put the insulation, then we put concrete again if you had to put it tiles or whatever on top. So that's uh, probably the most common. Uh, True, ma'am. Some of our roof deck will be exposed system that will be used a lot. Yeah, yeah. Roofing here, concrete roofing. Okay. Mm. And then we show you some of the projects. Uh, on, I think, the last two or three years. Here it shows basically <coughs> different possibilities you can do with these products. This, uh, หลายๆโครงการก็เป็นไอคอนิกนะคะของในต่างประเทศนะเพราะเทคโนโพเนี่ยถ้าเกิดพูดถึงในสเปนนะคะที่เป็นงานตัดฟ้างานโพลิยู